Welcome back to the PX Grid Developer video series. In today's video, we'll be going over how to perform adaptive network control or ANC related actions on PX Grid via the PX Grid SDK. We'll go over creating, updating, and deleting ANC policies and responding to ANC notifications. So let's get started. I've created a new Java file called ANC Actions that is a copy of the session query class we made before. The only difference is that I've removed the logic to perform the session query. All we do is connect to PXGrid and wait for the connection to be established. From here, we'll create an ANC policy and verify that the policy has indeed been created on the ICE admin UI. The first thing we must do is to create an instance of the ANC client class. This class provides various ANC related interfaces through PXGrid. From the ANC client, we'll generate an instance of the ANC query class. This query class actually allows us to perform the ANC actions. Now we need to create an ANC policy object to send in our ANC query object. This policy object will hold all the necessary information of our ANC policy. We'll set the policy's name and then create a local reference to the ANC policy's action list. We can fill this list with whatever actions we'd like our policy to contain. Let's just add the quarantine action for now. Now that our create policy query is ready, let's send it through our query object to pxgrid. The ANC query object's create policy method will send the policy to pxgrid and then return an ANC result object, which we can then print out. Okay, now let's run our client. We see that the ANC policy is successfully created via PXGrid given the result object. Now let's verify this on the ICE admin UI. After logging in, navigate to Operations, Adaptive Network Control, and then Policy List. This page shows all ANC policies configured on ICE, and there's our ANC policy. Now let's modify our client to update this policy. We'll change the action to Shutdown instead of Quarantine. The only code change we really need to do is change our Create Policy call to Update Policy instead. Now when we run the client, we'll see that ANC result shows a success status. If we refresh the table on the ICE admin UI, voila, the MySample ANC policy now has a shutdown action instead of the quarantine action. Now let's modify our client to delete the ANC policy. This will require a little bit more code rework. We can comment out our ANC policy and action list objects.
We'll then create a new delete policy request object and set the policy name to that of our sample ANC policy. We then send the grid connection object a query for this delete action and pass in three parameters, a reference to the ANC capability, the delete request, and a timeout value in milliseconds. The response object will then contain the ANC result of the query is sent. We'll retrieve it using the getANCResult method and then print out the result status. Now let's run our client. The success message is printed, and when we refresh our ICE admin UI, our policy is no longer in the table. Besides performing CRUD operations on ANC via PXGrid, it's also useful for our concerned PXGrid client applications to receive notifications when such operations occur. The PXGrid SDK provides a number of notification callback messages that client applications can then handle. Let's write one for the actions that we performed earlier, create, update, and delete. In each of these handlers, we'll just implement the notification callback interface, implement the required handle method, cast the base message argument into the appropriate notification, and then print out the notification. I'll be stealing the policy to string method from the ANC notification handler's Java file from the samples. This method simply prints out the ANC policy as a nicely formatted string.
Once we've created our notification handlers, we just need to register them with the grid connection for the appropriate notifications. This is just like how we created the session directory notification handler in the previous videos. We'll also comment out the delete policy logic. Now it's time to run the application. Let's manually create an ANC policy via the ICE admin UI. Our client should then receive a notification that the policy was indeed created. As you can see, we receive a notification from PXGrid of this action. Now let's stop our client, add back in our delete logic, and then run it again. Our client application will delete the existing policy in one thread, and our delete notification handler will receive a notification of this action. Please check out the samples for more examples of how to perform all of these ANC actions and much, much more. In the next few videos, we'll be going over dynamic topics, performing bulk downloads, and some information about username password-based authentication. So stay tuned.